Yesterday in Algebra 1, we learned about the order of operations. This lesson should be mostly a review for you of things that you learned in middle school, but I do want to cover them because the order really does matter. The order of operations is how we should solve a problem so we can ensure that we get the correct answer. To do this, we use what we call PEMDAS, which is just an acronym to tell us the order in which we should solve our equations or expressions. P stands for parentheses. So you do anything that is inside of the parentheses in a problem. E stands for exponents. The next step is to do anything involving exponents. The next step is to multiply and divide. Now notice here I said multiply and divide, not multiply comma divide. The difference is you do either one as you move left to right. So you do these in order. If divide happens to come before multiply, you do that first when you're looking at the equation from left to right. The last group is to add and subtract. And you add and subtract after you follow these other steps. And again, this one moves from left to right. So if you happen to come to subtract first, before add, you do that. If you come to add first, you do that. Every problem won't have all of these types, but many of them will have some form or combination of them. We're going to look at a couple of examples together. Example number one. Four, open parentheses, 25, minus 5 minus 2, close parentheses, squared. In class, some people mention that this is the first time that they've ever seen a bracket as opposed to a parentheses group. It's just another form of parentheses to help you understand the difference. So you know these two go together and these two go together. When we're talking about an equation, and when our first step is parentheses, we're going to work from the inside out. So the first step is to complete what's inside of this group of parentheses, or to do 5 minus 2. So what I'm going to do is recopy everything else down, and I'm going to do 5 minus 2, which is 3, and everything else just stays in its place. The next step is to do what is inside these brackets or parentheses. Within those, we've got an exponent, so that's going to come next. I'm going to have 4 open bracket 25 minus 3 squared, which is 9, and close. Then I have 4 and 25 minus 9, which is 16. And finally, 4 times 16 is 64. Hopefully you already know this, but if not, anytime anything is next to each other or in parentheses, that simply means to multiply. Let's try another example. Example 2. 21 minus x plus 2 times 5 for x is equal to 7. On this problem, the first thing we want to do is plug in our x value. So we have 21 minus 7 plus 2 times 5. Again, notice the only thing that I changed was I put a 7 where the x is. Now I want to follow my PEMDAS. There are no parentheses. There are no exponents. Next, I'm looking for multiply and divide. In this case, there's a multiply, so I'm going to do 2 times 5, which is 10. I'm going to copy down everything else around it. And finally, I'm going to do my add and subtract. I move from left to right here. So 21 minus 7 is 14 plus 10, and 14 plus 10 is 24. And so 24 is our final answer. Okay, I want to look at one more example with you. In particular, I want to remind you or teach you maybe for the first time about absolute value. So I have the absolute value, which is like a long L, extra dark, 10 minus 5 squared absolute value. So I'm taking the absolute value of what's inside divided by 5. Now, absolute value means take the positive of. Actually, it technically means the distance from zero. So if I thought about a number line, and I have zero right here, and this is five, and this is negative five, the absolute value of negative five is five because it is five away from zero. The absolute value of five is also five because it is also five away from zero. So distance is always a positive measure. So think of absolute value as positive numbers, making something positive. Within them, we treat them like parentheses. So here's where we're going to start using PEMDAS. Within our parentheses, we have an exponent. So we're going to do that. We're going to leave the 10 and the minus alone. 5 squared is 25. 
Remember that square just means a number times itself. Now I'm going to do what's inside of my absolute value, 10 minus 25. And 10 minus 25 is negative 15. Negative 15 absolute value of that or distance from that to 0 is 15. Notice I dropped the absolute value signs once I did the absolute value. And I have 15 divided by 5, which is 3. You had a homework assignment for this, which was a worksheet, and we did an extra challenge problem at the end of class. If you need more help, be sure to come to tutorials.